Hey guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product Reviews. I'm just going to read something for you guys and, and we'll see what, what, what we're reviewing today. Pavlova is a meringue based dessert named after Russian ballerina Anna Pavlova. It is a meringue dessert with crisp crust and soft light inside, usually topped with fruit and whipped cream. The dessert is believed to have been created in the honour of the dancer either during or after one of her tours to, New Ze uh, to Australia and New Zealand in the 1920s. The nationality of its creator has been a source of argument between the two nations for many years. The pav is a popular dish and an important part of national cuisine of both Australia and New Zealand and with its simple, simple recipe is frequently served during celebratory and holiday meals. It is a dessert most identified with the summertime and popular popul popularly eaten during the period including at Christmas time, however, it is also eaten all years, all year round, in many Australian and New Zealand homes. So, generally speaking, pavlova is traditionally garnished with strawberries, passion fruit, and key, kiwi fruit, and cream. Now, main ingredients: egg whites, cast sugar, and fruit. So, am I reviewing a pavlova, or am I reviewing a a craft beer or something else well it's a craft beer by Moondog Craft Brewery the Pav is ours Pavlova Pale Ale 5.5% ABV 1.4 standard drinks so I'll just read off the back just because there's kiwi fruit in the recipe it doesn't mean the kiwis invented it to our kiwi mates the pav is ours, but you can have Russell Crowe, Farlap, Flat Whites, Crowded House, Keith Urban, Rebecca Gibney, Lamingtons, Spreadable Butter. <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see what this one's like. We'll get into a glass and we'll see how we go. Doing this in reverse for you guys is probably the most difficult things of the challenges. Well, a little bit of a spray there. No real smoke there. Get into a glass. Okay, so there's heaps of sediment coming out right at the end there. Some floaties. Heaps of carbonation. Heaps. As you can see there, not even a fingernail head. We'll get the aroma going, try not to spill it. Definitely smell kiwi fruit. A slight smell of strawberries. I'm not really getting any of like the, the the actual pavlova smell coming through but we'll just dive in right off the bat there's definitely a creamy mouth feel so it's probably got oats in it Yeah, you definitely get that <clears throat> that cream element from from the from the oats. The kiwi fruit and the strawberries clash a little bit. They're not sort of two separate two separate flavors coming through. They they're sort of coming together together, if that makes sense. And it's very, it's extremely bitter on the back end. So, I'll, excuse me, I'll just read off the ingredients. Malt, Vienna, wheat, caramel pilsner, 
torrified wheat. I've never even heard of that word, torrified. 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 Torrified wheat is a pre gelatinized unmalted brewer's wheat that can be used as cereal grain adjunct in the mash and can replace malted wheat if you desire okay learning something new here on on the channel uh rolled oats um hops are cashmere lotus and the yeast is american ale and then it says other vanilla strawberry kiwi and passion fruit not really getting, not getting a lot of passion fruit. You never see the floaties sediment down here, and the floaties just um, see if I can give you a in glass look. Hope everyone's had a good weekend. It, it's Sunday evening. Um, I'm just going to get out of this quickly. If anyone's had any uh, beers recently, feel free to comment any beers you've had recently and, and uh, what, what you've been drinking lately and, and what's good and what's not. Um, hold on a second. So we'll, we'll, as that's loading, we'll um, we'll talk about packaging. So packaging packaging is very interesting. Um, to, to be honest, I got four of these. Uh, Mrs. likes pavlova, so I thought I'll. Get, she doesn't like beer, so I thought I'll just try to sort of edge that in and see if she likes it. Uh, wasn't to be, but. Um, It, it 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 piqued my interest just the novelty factor of it, um, and obviously the white there of the pavlova sort of enticed me um, to buy it. So they did they did well on the marketing thing because obviously I went out. Excuse me, it's, yeah, it's very bitter, make me burp. Um. Obviously, I saw this in the um, in the in the fridge, and it piqued, it piqued my interest, caught my eye, so I decided to get it. So they did a good job with the packaging. Um, in terms of price, uh, in terms of pricing, um, this is. $22 at BWS in Baronia. I think I've seen it for $20 at Dan Murphy's. Um, <clears throat> having issues here, sorry. Get out of that. So we'll talk about we'll talk about rating. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit indifferent. Um, the fact that it, that, that it's a very novelty idea and very novelty concept, um, 
they've done a good job with that respect of, of making a beer that's quite interesting. Uh, is it, is it something that I would probably probably get again? Probably not. Um, we'll talk talk about drinkability before we get to rating. I kind of skipped that part. Uh, drinkability. It, it's easy enough to drink. But would I get it again? Probably not. So, with that in mind, I'm probably going to... <sighs> Having issues. I'm just going to have to forget that. <clears throat> I was going to try to get up, get up some comments of um, on previous videos, but um, thanks for the likes of Matt, Ben, Louis, and Nick for commenting um, on my videos and and liking them of late. Um, it's been good. My um, why is the rum gone? Matty posted. <coughs> Posted, um, reminded me, reminded him of the Caribbean, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Sorry. Oh, and that's that's right. <clears throat> probably, probably the comment of, um, probably the comment of, of. One of the last videos was uh, the Boyak Hazy IPA where the ring pull uh, had a bit of issue opening up the can and Benny made a Simpsons reference comment about the monorail where Chief Wiggum's ring pull on his pudding can has the same issue. And I thought that was quite funny. So Ben, you get, bet the, get the comment of, of the last video. So that's good. So yeah, rating, probably give it a six. It's not bad. It's not great. Should you go out and try it, just experience it, probably. Um, something that um, I've been talking to a couple of people with is that uh, I wouldn't mind doing some live videos on YouTube. So um, I'm, tr I'm thinking about making a segment where pe people, fans, friends, or whatever, can send... Um, either products or challenges like death nut challenge or um, the one chip challenge or spicy challenges or silly challenges where <clears throat> I don't know what they are. People can send them via mail and um, I'll do a mystery unboxing um, on the channel and open it and whatever it is, I'll, I basically will have no planning whatsoever. I'll just have to roll with the punches of, of, of whatever it is without any planning. So um, if <clears throat> if that's something that inter interests anybody, please get onto both my socials or message on, on YouTube about things um, that may interest you in terms of sending. Uh, if you want to... Um, if you want to private message me in terms of how you can send stuff to me, please do. But yeah, I'll, I'll give this a six. It's it's a bit indifferent. It's it is easy to drink. It's not it's not it's not bad beer by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not yeah. It's, it's just just a solid six. To be honest, that's it's probably the same rating as this review. Um, late at night. Not really prepared. Prepared. Didn't have things open on my tablet, uh, where there was a little bit of stalling on my end of saying things and things like that. So, I do have uh, beer, my next beer cartel uh, package coming either today or, uh, sorry, tomorrow or Tuesday. So. Uh, hopefully we can get into some more reviews. Um, I'm probably going to upload um, 
my next video tomorrow, uh, which obviously isn't this one, obviously a backlog, so I'm going to try to get as close to being on par with uploads to where I currently am, just so when I am talking about videos, I'm not talking about them too far, like too far ago, if that makes sense, but um, yeah, if that if that mystery uh, box opening thing piques your interest, please get on to me. Please subscribe, hit the like, and please share it with friends and family. Hope everyone's going all right, and um, we'll just leave it there. Cheers.